Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here today with a video concerning Art Joya Sharing. They are doing a 30 day challenge for the month of November and I decided to try it. I'm not really an everyday journaling sort of person, but I thought I would give this a try. You know, it's always good to stretch your wings and try something new to see how far you can go. So this is a very inexpensive book that I got from Walmart. Usually they're black and I think it's meant mostly for sketching. Put myself a little label on it in case I forget what it's for. In the beginning of the book I wrote down all the prompt words in case I feel inspired and I'm not near the computer so I can know all the words. Um, so far I've gotten down to day 11 which I finished this evening but you will not see till next week. <laughs> so I'm going to do one through seven today. So let's get started. Uh, day one is feathers. I did this while we were chat on a chat and I drew feathers first and I thought well what do I do after I put the feathers? I need to put something on there that concerns feathers and I found some cute cutesy owl stickers in my stash and decided to use those. I don't use stickers very often especially not the cutesy kind. And I'm not an owl fan either so this is like outside my comfort zone for composition. Anyway, so I drew little branches with the Posca pen and then it says there is always one friend and that one lives in South Carolina. Just saying. Alright, so day two is the word voyage. And again, I'm trying to do new things. I watched Shell C do a torn paper um, collage picture of the desert on a cup and was mesmerized about how good it looked. I never seen anybody do collage like that before. So I decided to stick my toe in the water and so here's my collage having to do with Voyage. That is a stamp on white paper. These are craft sticks where I cut them off so I can make them blunt to go as the mast on the boat. And this is just miscellaneous painty paper. Alright, next one is day three and that word is below. I tried to put the word on every page. This one I'm gonna go in on a little bit. Whoops. This one I just, let me go back out, you can't see the whole thing. I was so excited about doing this one because I already had the fish from another project where I had photocopied them so all I needed to do was just color them and cut them out. Tore the paper, painted the background, found a couple stickers just to add them on there. And then I decided to do foiling. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with foil. Some of you watched me uh, <laughs> do the bowl I did that was broken. I made a mess of that, but I'm still learning. So I took the Deco foil uh, adhesive and used it with... these uh, pieces of foil, I think there's like six or eight colors in there, that I got from the art retreat I went on. And this comes from Creative Vision Stamps. And they're, I'll put the information down below. It says custom stamps, rubber art stamps, paper crafting workshops, and foilables. And whomever owns the company, there's no name on this, but whoever owns the company lives in Wisconsin. So there you go. She gave us samples to play with, and most everybody who went to the, the retreat used uh, a heat machine to do heat transfers. Well, I don't have one of those kind of machines, and while they were doing that, I was probably asleep on the couch. Nevertheless, I came home and decided to try it. So what I did for this is I squirted or made, you know, little blobs for the bubbles, let them dry, so I thought, then mashed the foil down over them, gave it a nice little firm rub, and then pulled up, and the foil stuck to them. The only problem was is that I did not realize how long a blob of this glue takes to dry. An hour to two, I thought. I left it here for like a couple hours on the table with the book open. Excuse me. Did the foil. Let it dry for a couple of hours more. Came back and closed the book. <laughs> when I opened it up the next day, 
all my little bubbles were flat like pennies. <laughs> so I learned that I should not have closed the book. See, this is a process. I should not have closed the book. They look very cool though, kind of, they look really neat flat. And I love the way the foil looks with it. So I'm not unhappy with the way it looks. And I did learn that I need a little more patience when stuff is drying. Now it looks nice and shiny on the camera, doesn't it? That looks very cool. Okay, so day number, what am I on, four? I don't even know. Day number four is feel. This was done with uh, the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics. I used uh, Cobalt Turquoise Hue. I used Cerulean Blue. And then I took the white and I mixed the white with the blues. To I wanted to go from translucent to opaque, which means kind of see-through to where you don't see through. See, translucent and opaque, you know, <laughs> these are terms that people throw around. I'm not really sure what that means. Found out at the art retreat, though, so now I'm very happy I le <laughs> learned what these terms are. I'm a doodler. What do I know? Anyway, so I did this, and then I did the stencil, and I found a lovely, lovely couple of... Um, Prim dolls from the Prim magazine. And then I had a stamp, and it says, If it doesn't make you feel fabulous, don't do it, don't buy it, don't keep it. This was all because of the group that went to the art street had been talking about purging a lot of things that they don't really like. Um, trying to get rid of things that don't make you happy, to get rid of clutter so you feel like you can breathe. So that's what this page was about. The next one is the word shake. Again, this is while we were chatting. I put down the deco foil glue. But this is not the foil that I used on the other page. These were gold and silver flakes that were laid on there and then brushed off. Again, I don't seem to have a lot of patience. <laughs> I closed the book and mashed my stuff. Evidently, I'm a slow learner because I didn't learn on the other page where I mashed the bubbles <laughs> and did it okay. It did it over here in the rattles, but what I did was I smudged it and it made it really go flat right here. And I'm missing some of the flakes up here and decide not to go back and do it again because it would just get even fatter than what it is. And I just left it alone. But I enjoyed doing it. This was from a paper pad. These two baby rattles are from paper pads that I've had for eons and never use. So I traced around a bottle, cut them out, and used them for the gold and silver rattles. The next one is the word parallel. And when I think of parallel, I think of railroad tracks, which always run parallel to each other. And I happen to have some of these right here. These are not stamps. These are photographs of stamps from a stamp catalog where they were trying to sell you the original stamps. So I cut out all the little stamps from the catalog, put these aside, never thinking I'd ever use them. I had some trains that were saved and decided just to do a train and train tracks for the word parallel. All right, so the last one is day number seven. And the word is body. My friend Peg Robinson carved this robust mermaid that I just adore. And she stamps them off for me on some uh, tissue paper. I think it's right here. Some tissue paper. And brought them to the art retreat with me. And I was cleaning out my desk and found this. And I was like, oh, I can use this. So I, again, uh, this one is collage painty paper. I cut out the mermaid and I did not color her on purpose because I wanted her to be different than the rest of the scene. I took stamps that I had from Hobby Lobby out of my stash, which I rarely use. I have a lot of stamp stickers, not stamp stickers, and never seem to use them. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it's because they hide behind me and they're out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, so I stuck those on there, found the word C in my stash of words, and then used sticky letters. So, that is days one through seven. So we have feathers, voyage, below, like, shake, and body. 
So that's the first seven days. And then next week it'll be building a like elephant bite hide smooth and news that's will be what the next video on is 8 through 14. okay um so that that are there are my pictures my mixed media my attempts at mixed media <laughs> they were a lot of fun you know the one thing about doing this as a doodler and then trying to do mixed media is I'm constantly learning new things and that's not a bad thing as an artist to learn new things I think it's a wonderful thing I just wish that it wasn't from <laughs> mistakes and impatience <laughs> so anyway this is from Art Joya Sharing with Chelsea and Peg Robinson they're doing the 30 day challenge to journal every day and it's hashtag art journal habit 2018 and when you post your stuff in you, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you use social media, remember to use that hashtag, Art Journal Habit 2018. When you do that, then everybody else gets to see your work, and we can all compare notes. All right, so that's it until next week when I do the next seven. And I had a really good time. Thanks for coming by. Toodles.